Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me tonight. Uh, this video is going to be uh, really short. Um, it's going to be on um, different uh, money spells that you can do. So if those of you that are having uh, any financial troubles, um, this video is for you guys. And I hope that um, by the end of it, um, you'll practice some of these rituals and um, hold fast to your faith and that um, these wishes will manifest. This is actually a um, video response also to a viewer who had requested um, that I do um, a spell on how to attract uh, more money. Now, if you remember a while back, I had posted um, a video on my witchy book haul, the first um, the first part in which I talk about three different spell books that I've had that are like antiques that I've had for years. And one of those spell books that I have is uh, from Jillian Kemp, uh, The Good Spell Book, which is where uh, these spells are going to come from. Now, this viewer um, specifically requested that I do um, a money spell from this book, and I'm always happy to oblige my viewers. Uh, I love you guys, and I, you know, that I will do anything and everything I possibly can to help you guys out and to help make your lives better. Um, so, uh, tonight I'm going to show you two different uh, spells that you can do. Very simple, very easy, it doesn't require a lot of materials. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's begin. So, the first spell um that you can do is basic you know like i said doesn't require uh, that many materials it's just a green candle now if you want to add more stuff to it uh, that's up to you but this is pretty basic all you need is just a green candle um and what you're gonna do is you're gonna light it and when you light it um, sit with the flame, focus, put all your energy into that flame, um, and sit with it for five minutes. If you feel that you need more time, go ahead and take as much time as you need. It's not, um, there's no limitation. Um, not, you know, specifically, they, even though it says in the book, you don't have to wait five minutes. You can take as long as you want until you feel that it's, that, you've already uh, f felt that your um, your wish is beginning to manifest or that you can begin to see it in your mind's eye. And when you're done um, imagining it or picturing it in your mind, just blow out the candle. And then what you're gonna do as the smoke rises from um, after, from, from after you've blown out the candle, uh, you're gonna rub your hands in the flame like this and you're gonna imagine money coming to you um, and just stay positive um, just imagine all that good fortune coming to you that all those problems will diminish uh, every financial um, problem that you've had goes away and all that positive uh, energy that you've um, manifested comes in so for that um first spell it's just very simple you just need a green uh, need a green uh, candle and um just sit with the flame for a while for as long as you feel that you need to until your wish has manifested or begins to show signs of manifestation and you blow out the flame and you rub your hands in the flame and just imagine money coming to you. Now, the second spell is very simple. And I know I have my coin here somewhere. Um, all it, it's going to require is just a coin. It can be um, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, um, or even change. I mean, it, it's not a specific type of coin it's just um 
if you choose to put a handful of change at the windowsill, go ahead. You know, it's, it's, um, it's how you feel, however you feel. You need to perform the spell in order for your wish to manifest. Now, for this particular spell, um, you just put the coins on the windowsill on the night of a, of a full moon. And for this one, you're going to go through the phases of the moon. So you start with a full moon, and then you put the, you put the coin uh, face up. So heads up on the windowsill. Let the energy from the moon um, absorb into the, into the coin. Um, and you can leave it for, you know, for a full night or where, the, where you know that um, the, the moonlight is going to hit the coin. And, you know, in the morning, just, I guess, if you want to leave it overnight, um, that's fine. You can do that. And then just the next day, um, or when you, whenever you feel that, that the moon or that the coin has absorbed all that uh, light from the, from the moon, um, flip it over to the tail side and do the same thing. Um, if you're using more than one coin, then flip each one. If you have it heads up, then flip each coin to the other side, to tails, so that it can absorb the light from the moon um, on more consecutive nights. So the whole point of the spell is to have the coins absorb the light of the moon um, every night until the next full moon. And then what you're going to do with that, once the spell is complete, by the end of the next full moon, then, um, or by the time the, the next full moon hits, then your spell is complete and you get the change and you carry it with you. Um, be it in your pocket, in your change purse, or, or your coin purse, or in your purse, um, or wallet, it's fine. Um, but just as always, you know, when you're doing a, um, a money spell, stay positive. Um, don't think any negative thoughts because remember you're banishing all that negativity out and you're bringing in all that positive energy. There's no room anymore for negative energy. So with those um, spells, with, with the candle spell, where you rub your hands in the smoke and imagine the money coming to you, and this one as well, where the the light um, from the moon catches the the coin and absorbs all that the moon's energy. Um, I'm confident that these will help you guys uh, to bring more prosperity into your life. Remember that there's no room for negativity, so block all that out because you're getting rid of it. So why would you want to bring it back in? and then have all your money problems start all over again uh, because then the spell goes to waste. So uh, keep that in mind as you're performing these spells. If you use more than one coin for um, the full moon spell, uh, just remember heads up um, on the, at the start of a full moon um, to absorb all the light from the moon and then the next night, uh, or when you feel that, the, that it's already absorbed enough of the moon's energy, then flip the coins over, flip each one over, so that it absorbs the light from the moon on both sides, because you don't want just half. You want, you want to get the, the full effect. So um, start on the night of a full moon, and then put the coins face up, let the light from the moon absorb it um, into the coins and then do the same thing. Um, turn, uh, turn the coins over and then let the light from the moon absorb on the other side, on, on the tail side, um, so that, you know, you, like I said, you get that full effect. So um, then on the next full moon is when your spell is complete. 
and you just take the coins and you keep them with you um, at all times. Don't lose any of the coins. Um, you can spend them if you want um, because you've already cast like a prosperity spell. So more will be coming to you. Um, just if you want to keep them in a safe place, you're, um, you're free to do so. It, it's, it's up to you. So um, with that in mind, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below um, what you thought of it. Um, if you've tried any spells like these before, um, if there's something else that you want me to cover or clarify for you, I'm more than happy to. Um, so until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.